During this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Instant Builder 2.0 to your WordPress website using your website cPanel. All right, so the first thing we need to do is actually download the plugin. So once you purchase the plugin, you should receive your membership details. And when you do that and you log into the members area, it should look a little something like this here. Okay. Now on the left hand side of the navigation, you should see the download option. So we're going to click on that. And once that loads up right here in the middle of the screen, you should see in big text, click here to download instant builder 2.0. So you're going to click on that and it's going to start downloading for you. Now, once we have that downloaded, I am going to head over to my cPanel and I am using HostGator for this demonstration. No matter which web host you use, they all usually have a similar cPanel to this right here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to browse down here until you find your file manager like I have here and you want to click on that. Next, you want to make sure that you have your website selected that you are looking to install this plugin on. So in my case, I want to install it on my tutorial website. So I'm going to make sure I choose that and then I click on go. Now, once that file manager loads up, you should see all your different WordPress files like I see here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go into the WP content. Next, we want to go into the plugins folder. And here we will see a list of all the different plugins that we have on our WordPress website. And now what we want to do is we want to install the Instant Builder plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload up here. And next I am going to go to choose file and then I am going to choose the Instant Builder zip file that we just downloaded. And once I select that down here in the bottom right hand corner, we can see that my cPanel is in the process of uploading that plugin right now to our files. All right, and once that plugin is completely uploaded by our file manager, we are going to exit off of this and back on our file manager. If you don't see the zip file, go ahead and click on the reload button here and we should now see our InstaBuilder 2 zip file. So now we need to extract this folder to our directory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the zip file here and at the top right, I am going to click on extract and then we wanna click on extract files. And once that is finished, we can go ahead and close out of this here. We can go ahead and reload our file directory again. And now we have our InstaBuilder 2 folder there. We can go ahead and delete the zip file if we want to, since we do not need that anymore. And now we have the plugin added to our WordPress website. So I head back to my WordPress website here. I go to my plugins. And now you can see that we have the InstaBuilder 2.0 plugin on our WordPress website. And all we have to do is activate it just like this here. And that is how you add the InstaBuilder 2.0 plugin to your WordPress website via your cPanel.